Statistics on Auto Crashes and Teen Drivers Teenagers aged 16 to 19 have the highest likelihood of being involved in a car accident of any other age group. Based on mileage, drivers in this category have a three times greater chance of being in a fatal crash than those who are 20 years old or older. Plus, injuries related to auto accidents are treated in U.S. emergency rooms on a yearly basis by about 258,000 young drivers. Every day, seven drivers between the ages of 13 and 19 pass away in car accidents. A seatbelt was not being worn by 45% of the teen drivers who were killed in car accidents. Young drivers, 20 and under, are involved in more than 63,000 crashes per year across the state of Florida. 126 people died as a result of these occurrences, while nearly 16,000 people were hurt. The biggest cause of death for drivers between the ages of 15 and 20 is traffic accidents, which claim up to 4,000 lives each year nationwide. Young drivers are prone to driving at excessive speeds and taking unwarranted risks because they lack the advantages of experience and typically lack the healthy dread of death and mutilation. Additionally, people in this age range do not yet have fully formed judgmental and decision-making abilities. If you are the parent of a teen who wants to drive, you will need to set strict guidelines for your young driver. Respect the graduated licensing procedure first. Young drivers are required by state law to hold a restricted license, also known as a learner's permit, for a whole year before applying for a regular driver's license. Running errands for you or driving to work or school are not acceptable exceptions to the rule. Driving with restrictions enables them to gain experience in a safe setting and under your supervision. You should provide your kid regular opportunities to drive so they can obtain as much experience as they can in your presence, even though you might fear sitting in the passenger seat while they're in the driver's seat. Establish your own house rules for driving and talk to kids about them even before they acquire a license. This is in addition to ensuring sure they are aware of and observe all traffic laws. Point out the following. Driving is not a right but a luxury. No minor has the legal authority to drive or obtain a license, according to the law. Until kids turn 18, they require your permission to obtain a license. They should be required to demonstrate their capacity to be a responsible student in addition to a responsible driver. Maintaining respectable behavior and decent grades is necessary for this. Anytime, a parent may submit a written request to have a child's license withdrawn. If you think your teen isn't ready to start driving or upgrade from a limited to a standard license, just say no until you're sure it's the correct time. Even when your teen receives a regular license, you retain control over their ability to drive. Gradually provide driving rights. Based on your teenager's background, conduct, and your honest appraisal of his maturity level, set limitations for each stage. Only after several months and a clean driving record can you move on to the next step. Demand that they never operate a vehicle when impaired by alcohol or another drug, and offer them amnesty if they phone you to pick them up instead. Do not let your adolescent driver ride with other teens who don't adhere to the same standards that you would expect of your own youngster. You possess the keys to safety, never forget that. If they disobey the rules, don't be afraid to revoke their driving rights. Remind them that you only care about their safety and not what other parents think.